Some of you all are having trouble with your audio. You feel like you're recording it and you're starting to sound like a chipmunk. Well, I gotta let you know that me and my friend Marshall right here are on the case. We are gonna track down that chipmunk, that squirrel, whatever that sound is that's causing you so many issues when you record your audio and cakewalk. So you're in cakewalk and you're getting ready to record and you're so excited about recording some vocals. You insert the audio track and then you're like, woo woo, gonna do it. And then I'm gonna go adjust my input and then I'm gonna set it to, this time I'm on channel four. And then when I press record, I should get signal. I'm gonna go ahead and record it and let's hear what happens. Everybody wants to say, that they're having some problems with their cakewalk but i don't know what to do because i can't get these chipmunks off of you okay after i record let's hear exactly what it sounds like now everybody wants to say that they're having some problems with their cakewalk Okay, that is not what I recorded. And maybe you're having the same problem. Let me throw a disclaimer at you. This is something that I try to duplicate by pitching up the actual part that I just sung because this is a problem that I've never experienced in Cakewalk before. And some reason you all, I have received this message several times throughout the last three or four years. And I wanted to actually give you some suggestions of what may fix this problem if you are experiencing this. But before I get into this, I've got to put on my detective hat. So let me go get that real quick. All right, now that I have my detective hat on, it's time to get into it. Let's solve this case. First thing I want you to check is your sample rate. So what you want to do is you want to go to edit. You want to go to preference. You want to go down to where it says playback and recording. Now, first off, I'm going to start here because if you are using an interface, an audio interface it is, then hopefully you have it set to ASIO. ASIO would be the best driver mode for anything that you're recording, it has the best latency. But if you do not have an interface that accepts ASIO and you're using the sound coming from your computer to record or playback, then you might wanna make sure this is set to either Wasapi, WDM or MME. This is something that you're gonna to have to play around with to make sure you get the best sound. So you just play with each one. I'm gonna tell you MME is the older version and it's gonna give you the worst latency ever, uh, but it still will work. So you might wanna start here. You might wanna check the driver settings, see if that fixes the issue. Another thing that you can do is you could check the driver settings. This is where we're gonna adjust the sampling rate. Right now I have this set to 48,000 Hertz or 48 kilohertz. Now. If you have a device or interface that accepts 48 or 44, you wanna make sure that you have it in sync the correct way. So if my interface is set to 44, but my DAW or Cakewalk or any other DAW for that matter set to 48, it's not gonna register right. You might have issues with that. Or if I have this at a higher rate, but my interface only goes up to 48, that would actually affect it too as well. So you wanna make sure you have it set to the right thing. In this case, my project is set to 48, and I can check my X Air, which is right here. Now, whatever interface you have, it should have some type of settings uh, that you can go in there and adjust it. And if you're using like ASIO for all, uh, which is another free plugin that you can use to help, you know, with some interfaces that may be having trouble, then you definitely can go about doing that too as well. So you want to check the setup in here. If you have a Behringer or anything that's a digital mixer, then it might be the same concept. You want to go to audio MIDI and you want to make sure it's set to clock rate 48 kilohertz. That is where I have mine set at. But if I had it set at 44.1, I would get some issues there. Now, that's the first thing you want to check. Marshall, do you see anything? Use your nose. Do you smell that chipmunk? Where is it at? Marshall just informed me that he might have discovered something else. He was sniffing it out, trying to figure out what the problem is. Another thing that you can check is the buffer size. If you go back to edit and go to preferences and then you go to driver settings. Now, what you want to do is you want to make sure that this buffer size is set to the correct thing. So the effective latency at 48 kilohertz stereo is 10.7 milliseconds. Now that's fast and depending on your processor power and your memory, this might, you might never need to change this, but I'm gonna let you know that it is better to keep it fast when you're recording and it's better to put it towards safe when you're playing back audio or when you're starting to do a lot of processing with effects. 
Which brings me to the next reason that you may be having trouble with your recording. You need to make sure that on your track, there are no additional plugins or additional effects that are enabled. Like if you try to record this, but then you had some type of vocal preset on it, then you might have issues from the get go because sometimes extra effects can cause issues with your recording. So, or it might slow your computer down if you're over processing with those effects. So when I record vocals, I'm not really worried about presets yet. I mean, you can record with maybe some compression if you want to do that, but I would rather just record a dry signal and then do my processing after I've recorded everything. So that might be one thing that you want to check. Good boy, hold on, good boy, good boy. Another thing you might want to check out is your drivers. Whatever interface that you are using, you might have an issue with your drivers. Trust me, drivers are always outdated. Uh, it could have been the cakewalk drivers. It might be a glitch in cakewalk. That might be one thing. You might want to try updating cakewalk if you haven't updated it lately. Another thing is you might want to go to the website, whatever drivers that you need for your interface or for your computer for that matter. Sometimes it could be the internal sound card that you need to update. It can be drivers, any type of drivers. It may be out of whack. It may cause issues with cakewalk. So after you've done all of that and you said, man, I try to do that. I try to adjust the drivers. I try to do all this stuff, but I'm still having issues with this recording. Another thing that you could do is very simple. Restart your computer, exit out of cakewalk. If you want to save what you have, save it first, exit out of cakewalk, restart your computer, start it over again. Try to go back into the same session or same project. Sometimes it's project based that you have issues. It might be a totally new project that you have no problems with, but one of your older projects is where you're having those issues at. So if you see that when you go back into cakewalk, and you're able to record and now it's recording correctly, it might have just been a computer error. It's always cool to refresh and restart your computer. So maybe this helps you and maybe it did not help you, but I hope it did help you. And if it did not, please let me know in the comments below. Hey, just a norm, this did not help me. Put it like that. You can put it in all capital letters if you want to. I won't take it to heart because I do want to help you with this matter. If you find tutorials like this, helpful, then you want to check out some of the tutorials that I have that are popping up above because one is going to focus on troubleshooting cakewalk more and the other one is going to focus on whatever YouTube believes is the best video for you. And I love you all. Take care.